got great energy. The mother man swept through. The hard to seek champion of the Kiel are going to go. The last fight is in. Hello rugby fans, I'm Dallin Stanford and welcome to the first episode of Dallin Explained Sevens, a three-part series where we break down the intricacies of the Olympic sport that will be on full display at the Rugby Town Sevens at Infinity Park. <laughs> Flick back to the lap post. What are they doing? They keep it alive. Sevens rugby at its finest. Nathum is not even part of the play. There's just five players left for Marlboro Compi. Mr. Nitro turns it back in. Little half gap appears. The stutter step. It's still there. Here it is. Buni Vesalevu needs support. Mothana Thangi, the lamppost over the top. Nothing. Yes, you absolute legend. Rugby Sevens is a version of Rugby Union that features seven players on the field instead of 15. There are also five substitutes allowed for a total of 12 per squad. Each team has three forwards and four backs. But due to the frenetic pace of play, these positions are most filled by backline players and loose forwards from 15s. A 7s match has two 7-minute halves instead of the 18 minutes in 15s, which means that in a tournament like the Rugby Town 7s, teams can play up to 6 matches over 3 days. Today we'll look at the 3 different set pieces in the game of 7s. I need 2 scores to draw level. Whoopi comes around this narrow side, gets the pass away beautifully, the mouse is on the outside! Matty Turner! gets one of those two tries that they need. A scrum in sevens features three players contesting for the ball. There are two props and a hooker in the middle who tries to hook the ball back with his foot towards his team. The scrum off has to put the ball in quickly or they'll be penalized for delaying play. The ball pops out of the scrums much quicker than the 15s game. The primary goal for the attacking team is to pass, flick or even kick the ball towards their backline to maintain possession if there's pressure on the scrum off. This pass is genius from Marlboro Compede. The team with possession has the advantage of communicating to their hooker when the ball will be put in, thereby ensuring the timing of the hook will be more successful. The no logo scrum off in this example taps the hooker's arm with the ball, then feeds the scrum. From Tonga, lives in Arizona, peels around the right side. Possession is massively important in sevens because each match is so short, which means that when it comes to lineouts, teams often opt for a quick throw in to ensure they can continue attacking. It'll be a Griffin's line out, they go play quickly. On. Play on. Remember that in order to take a quick throw in, the ball cannot touch anyone else apart from you and the opposition player that took the ball out. The throw in must travel beyond the 5 meter line and can be thrown in straight or backwards. Quick thinking from Troy Lockyer gets his team possession via quick throw in. Deception and timing are elements that are crucial to winning your own lineouts, and of course a quality throw is always needed. Here we go though, the Barbarians have Jones, Curry nice. Jones, what a throw! Team their chances to go top two in their pool. They go to the front, the beekeeper does well, does Tucker, and now to Matty Turner. Kickoffs are the most important set piece in sevens rugby, and hence the one that teams practice the most. Of course, they'll need his boots to get the ball back. Confusion, then Ponzi has it, the man bun, back on the inside, Smith could get a double! Wow. Mike West shoots into the lead! 12 points to 7 against Tiger Rugby. Cisco Lopez, getting his PhD in Atlanta, says, let's go. Zoolander. Backwards off blue. Drops this one back. It's been kicked through beautifully, and here they go. Chad Joseph for the line. Has it got too much in it? Yeah. Oh, this could be brilliant. Chad Joseph, get out of here. A major difference from 15s is that in 7s, the team that scores always kicks off to restart play. Restarts must travel 10 meters, with most teams aiming for as much height as possible then sending their best aerial players to compete for possession. The goal is of course to win the battle for the ball, either by knocking it backwards towards your teammates, or better still, taking a clean catch as the US Army's kicker Cody Malfi and flyer Jacob Lakina demonstrate. Lakina oh. off the restart! Look at him go, Jacob Lakina! Gathers his feet, wonderful restart from the Army. A common practice amongst experienced teams is lifting a player to receive the restart as the gesture show us here with Irish international Harry McNulty going high to secure the pill. 45 seconds to go in the first half. Kickoffs are risky because if you send too many players to compete and miss possession, the opposition will have a brilliant attacking advantage. It's good night nurse and the opposition are in for 5 points before you've blinked. Well, maybe that's what they meant, but so far it's been clinical. They come down to Aaron Redder, the human tank. Dakota Worth cuts through, Worth will get it done in the end. It's all too easy. 
With teams aiming for pinpoint accuracy, the most common restart errors include kicking the ball directly out of bounds, oh, this one hits the line, so it's out on the yeah. full. or not 10 meters, which gives the opposition a free kick at the halfway line. The 21 year old is kicked, he goes negative three meters. In sevens, if you can keep possession, you not only prevent the opposition from scoring, but keep adding to your tally, which is why the best teams can produce magic moments like this. I'll see you at Kalenisau. Just a 10 needed, jumpers are there. They do well to Lomaviti, to Kalenisau up the middle. Oh, Sia, Kalenisau turns back the years. Take that, Pete Steinberg. He's older. He doesn't need the age. He's got the experience. What a score. Set. John Hughes running four. Just graduated from Loughborough University with a Masters in Mechanical Engineering. He takes the play right now. Bonkers goes wide. Money Tonga we are. Money Tonga we are gets the bust and here it goes to step for the Mongoose. Turns Vondel in and out. The Mongoose slivers his way through still. Oh, it gets a wonderful ball to Basker. Michael Basker for the line. He's got the legs. He's got the try. Basker, you biscuit. One is how they got you. The Doterra Tigers go high. Stay. Great take there by the beekeeper. The Salsa Dancer brings them down. Robobo the Razor shifts it to Zoolander. Oh, massive tackle. That's a salsa dancer. He's not done yet. He's got his dancing shoes on. He even gets Robobo. Cuts him down. Wow, what a spin move as well. Chalmers, there's a hat trick on the line here. Scott Bickerstaff gets the fan and the try. The first three belong to the Scottish player, Mr. Bickerstaff. Rugby Town 7's Cup Final. Here we go. Hanoa Sunday. Knocked down there by the lamppost, but they come oh. flying in. Tupuwalo has it. <laughs> Tupuwalo get the Hawaiian shirts out. That is absolutely ridiculous. That's all for this time. Thanks for watching, you sleek sensations. We'll be back next week with Dallin Explained Sevens Defense. Be sure to rewatch the 2019 Rugby Town Sevens from beginning to end on August 21st, 22nd, and 23rd as we restream the entire 20 along with added commentary and interviews with your favorite Sevens stars. Watch live online or on Rugby Town USA app.